What's up, YouTube family? Captain Charles Hertel here with Takizi TV. We're back, episode two. We're in Fort Myers. I made it all the way from Isla Mirada. It may not seem like it's very far, but let me tell you, that drive across 75, I don't like it. I don't like leaving the Keys. I don't like leaving my island. But I came up here to Fort Myers, come visit my buddy Duper. We're at Latitude Tournament Boats Factory right now. I'm picking up my new boat. It's been a long time coming. I've worked very hard for this, but I am more than excited. She's actually sitting right, oh. We're not gonna show that to you right now. We're gonna show that to you guys here in a little bit. First, we're gonna take a little tour of the factory, give you guys a little history on the shop. Uh, so come on, come on guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a tour. Let's go. All right guys, so now you've seen the factory, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Duper. Duper's a super cool guy, he's the owner of the company. He's been making boats for a little while now and he does a damn good job doing it. I am picking up hull number 22. He's got all the way through hull number 27, 28 actually in the shop that is currently in progress. He's got 47 of these boats ordered. People are seeing the gem that he's building and they're hopping on this as you guys should too. He's gonna talk a little bit about the company and show you guys the progression of each boat as they go and at the very end of it we're going to show you my finished product so stay tuned let's go ahead and introduce you guys to duper all right guys here is our 25 ltb competitor this here is in my opinion the holy grail this is the mold of all molds this is the true 24 and a half degree dead rise 25 foot we all know the gorgeous boat that norm at whitewater builds we all know the amazing boat that don mcgee built at, at cv Anybody can identify this mold. You know what this mold is. This is her. She was originally built in 1974 off of a 233 formula in South Miami. We were lucky enough to find the boat and buy the boat from Carlos at Ocean Runner. And we've been very blessed to bring her back to life, bring the true legend back to the water. Things that are really unique about this mold is it's the original mold. It's the mother mold. We can identify a lot of the boat manufacturers throughout the years who have built boats out of this mold or made molds off of this mold. Um, the original manufacturer of the boat, when he sold his first company, Formula, the owner of the Formula told him to stop making the boats. This guy is the kind of guy that nobody told him what to do. So he told one of his shop guys to go out to the end of the street, pull the stop sign out of the ground. The guy did that. Brought it to him, threw it on the ground, and the original owner of this company said, weld that stop sign to the bow of the boat. If you look right here, that's exactly what this is. This is the original stop sign from Miami. And the original build of this boat said, nobody will ever tell me to stop building boats. And he went on to build some of the baddest boats that are still being built today. Here is a liner that was just pulled off of this mold last night. So as you can see, she's in just the raw stage right now. She needs a lot of cutting and trimming and test fitting. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set this boat, this liner inside the boat. We'll go over there next, you'll see the fuel cell and everything's already in place. And the guys are going to go ahead and trim this back, then we'll foam the hull and the liner together, give everything a real good cleanup, and then do our non-skid afterwards. I'll show, show you our hull. This is the thickness of our hull. We build these boats extremely thick. We want our boats to last. We say we build boats that are supposed to be on the water 300 days a year. We build boats for captains and guides, guys that are gonna make money with this boat, that are gonna depend on the boat. They're gonna make sure that this boat is gonna be around for a long time. So this plug actually came from right here, which is the overflow for the center floor live well. We like to give these plugs to everybody who gets their boat. So they can see exactly what their boat looks like. Use it for a keychain or whatever you want, just don't drop it because it'll sink. Here we can see the guys are putting on the bracket right now. 5200, everything's in place. We will impact wrench them at first, and after the impact wrench, then we'll hand torque them here for the fuel cell, 150 gallons. We set our fuel cells in foam, then after that, we bolt them to the stringers, and then we fiberglass them in place. Fuel tanks are triple baffled and epoxy coated, so they're built for longevity. They're going to last a long time. That's 
our fuel cell on top of it. We will put our four inch rigging tube so you can rig all your rigging for your motors, flywheels, um, electronics, everything that needs to be rigged all the way to the back of the boat. You can see our stringer grid is a very strong stringer grid. We actually put two more bulkheads in it than what most of our competitors do with their, their stringers and their bulkheads. We want this boat to be strong. You know, there's days that it's going to be flat calm. There's days it's going to be four foot sea. So you want to make sure that it's going to take the beating. We'll bounce over here to this one. You can see that this boat here already has the liner in place. And you can see where we fiberglass and we tab our liner to the hull. right here where we fiberglass the liner to the stringers. Then again we come around to the back of the boat and you can see again where we fiberglass the liner to the hull again. Anywhere that we can laminate this boat together, we laminate together. It's like one solid piece of fiberglass. It's the, the rock on the water. It's very, very, very strong and very solid. This here is the ice blue cap that we're doing a little bit of chilling work to that's going to go on this boat right here. This boat here is going to Vero Beach, Florida. And if you guys have time, I want to show you a secret. I want to show you something new that we're working on. So what we're doing now is we showed you earlier, and we're going to show you again on Captain Charles' boat. His is number one, the very first boat with the pitch wells, and it is sweet. So we showed it a couple months ago. We are building a pitch mold here. What we have is this here is a plug, we call it. We're making a new mold. We're making a new mold for our 25 competitors. So we integrated the pitch wells something else very special that we're doing right now I'll give you guys a little bit of a tease like I said earlier as we know that we have our oval transom live well but right here we have built-in five gallon bucket holders for your cast net for your trash it's gonna be a flush mount the bucket slides right in a nice door across the top we could do a starboard door for a cutting station we can do a plexiglass door so you can look inside of it, or we can do a fiberglass door. So this here is gonna be the new cap available on all 2020 models starting after March. So after March, this is gonna be the cap that you're gonna get that's available, and it's not an upgrade. It's part of the cost. So we're gonna keep it at that cost at $39.9. Get your orders in now, guys. I'm not trying to be pushy, but we're a small shop. We're a family-owned company, and uh, we wanna go ahead and get you guys on the water. We have 47 boats on order. Deposits are refundable, so if something changes, you get your money back. It doesn't hurt to get your deposit in now, get yourselves in line, and uh, let's get you guys on the water, catching some fish. All right, guys, I'm allowed to show you now. This is my favorite boat so far to leave the shop. Hall number 22, Captain Charles's boat. She's gorgeous, if you can look at it. Whisper gray hull, ice blue, brights. The very first boat to have the integrated pitch wells. Pitch wells meaning live wells a handful of crabs if you're chasing the permit, a ballyhoo if you're going after the showering swordfish. This is Shane. Shane is the shop foreman. He's the number one guy. He's in there concentrating right now, talking to make sure he doesn't trip anything. On number 22 of 2020. But as you see it right here is 39.9. 39.9 plus the $3,000 for the bracket. We don't include the price of the bracket because we don't know if you want a single engine boat a twin engine boat, a port lift a pair lift jack plates. So we don't put this on the price because everybody wants to do something different. Every guy is a little bit different. If you want a twin engine boat, then we have to do a totally different bracket and that was a little bit more money. So the 39.9 advertised price is everything you see here for it, including the pitch wells and after March, it's gonna be including the five gallon bucket holders. Captain, show them your boat.
All right, guys, we got the boat. We left. We're heading back to the Keys. We're still in Fort Myers. We're getting some gas right now. But we are hooked up. We're heading south. When we get home, we're going to go over the boat for you guys. Stay tuned. We'll be there before you know it. All right, guys, we made it back. We're back here in Alamorada. Luckily for you, you didn't have to partake in that three hour ride, three and a half hour ride to get all the way back. Um, avoided Miami. First time I went through Miami when I went and picked up the trailer in Fort Myers a couple months ago. I went up there to go check out the boat, pick up the new trailer, coming back through Miami, just bought the trailer. Some guy actually managed to hit my trailer on the way home. So this time around, when I wanted to go pick up the boat, I picked up the boats, avoided every major freeway, took out Alligator Alley all the way across the state, down 27, Chrome Avenue all the way home. No city traffic, thank God I could not bear to have somebody hit the boat coming home. That would just been tragic. But it's crazy, it's been a long process getting a custom boat built. There's uh, nothing easy, the, the wait time is just drive you crazy. But today's finally the day. We're actually here in Isla Mirada with the boat at my house. So we're gonna go ahead and go over the boat for you guys, show you guys what you guys get from Latitude Turnboats when you go ahead and order the 25 competitor. The boat's sitting behind me. She's parked up right now. I got a date next week with the engine guy. He's gonna hang the engine and the boat's gonna go off for rigging. And we're gonna do a whole video after the boat's all rigged out of how I rigged it out on the water, test running it, give you guys a real good consumer report. But for now, we're just gonna show you how you guys would receive the boat if you bought it from Latitude Tournament Boats. Behind me, you got the 25 competitor. I got Whisper Gray Hull. I went ahead and did the black rub rail. You have the option to do black or stainless steel. And I got the Seafoam Green, which matches my current boat, the Maverick. I got the Seafoam Green liner and cap. 25 feet of pure awesomeness. This thing is absolutely a beauty. It's sitting on a Almighty Trailers. Almighty Trailers, Sergio hooked it up out there in Fort Myers. I got the trailer from him. Killer good price, great turnaround time, and the trailer is absolutely beautiful. You saw early in the morning when we left to go to Fort Myers, how it lights up at night. I got the Extreme LED package, this boat, it lights it up. I mean, I can't wait to launch this boat early in the morning or late in the evening when I'm pulling it out to see what it really looks like with this trailer all lit up. The trailer is badass. He even went ahead and put the, the nice rims on it. Um, 12,000 pound trailer, dual axle, brakes, just the way I wanted I mean, this guy knew what he was doing. He's made a few uh, trailers. He's made a few trailers for LTB, so he already is all fitted and everything ready to rock. Let's go ahead and climb up in the boat. I'm gonna go over the boat, show you all the hatches, show you the finished product, the way you guys are gonna receive it from LTB. So let's go ahead and climb up there. Ugh. All right, so I just, I sprayed it down. It got covered in bugs on the way back, of course. So I sprayed it down, got all the bugs off of you, cleaned it up a little bit. It's sitting under some trees, got all the leaves out. Probably the worst place to park a boat for now. It's already staining, but I'll take care of that before we take up the rigger. So getting on the boat, as you can see, I'm going. I'm standing on the back platform. This is the swim platform, Armstrong bracket, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this through Duper. It's not included in the price of the boat. It's a couple grand more, but it's two extra feet. The boat itself is 25 feet long. You add the bracket to the back, totally improves the ride, and it's about adds about two, two and a half feet to the total length of the boat. Okay, so now that we're in the boat. You guys can see the transom. I got the Whisper Gray non-skid with the Seafoam Green liner and the Whisper Gray console. This boat is a complete blank slate right now. What you're getting from Duper is a hull cap liner and the Armstrong bracket. Back here on the transom, you got your 30 gallon transom well. I got a plexiglass lid that will go across the top of it. I also went with the Seafoam Green liner on the inside this is great i got 30 gallon on my skiff this will hold a couple hundred pilchards some do dozen mullet whatever you're going to need it's a great well i'll go ahead it's not plumbed i'll plumb it what i'm going to do is put a little hole in the bottom that i can put a black cap in and then i'll put an overfill right here that will run out the side of the boat so there's not going to be any downstem and then i'll have the flow coming in from this side circulating the water coming back here this is your bilge you open this up and you look inside the bilge, the bilge is absolutely huge. He's got the basic rig and that hose right there is coming from the forward deck well. That is the drain for that. I'm gonna put that on a macerator pump, but he also installs just a basic bilge pump and float switch. But as you can see, this bilge is absolutely huge. By the time I have it all rigged out, there's still gonna be plenty of room in there. If you look to the left, you got yourself some storage. Lots of storage in here. And then over here, you have an identical hatch with lots of storage. 
that hose right there is for the forward deck well the intake that will get hooked up to a through hole live well pump lots of storage in there and as you can see the drain the drains aren't even made yet i'm gonna have to drain make the drains i'm gonna put a nice big grate there with a nice big drain it does come with stainless steel hardware when you get it from the shop it's got six cleats on it now looking forward you have the console the competitor style console it's a, it's a complete blank slate i went with the whisper gray this is going to get all rigged out two gps's your vhf your stereo steering wheel everything i'm gonna go ahead and probably leave this blank i'm gonna do a cup holder here a cup holder here and maybe a compass but really i want to be able to stand on this when i get my tower on rod holders down the side if you want to do it then you have your door Open up the door to the console. Lots of room in here. Plenty of room for batteries, amps, fuse boards, everything. So now we're looking at the front of the boat, the bow of the boat, you have four total hatches. The middle hatch is gonna be your 50 gallon deck well. I also went with the seafoam green on that side. That one's already plumbed. All I need to do is hook up the pumps. To the left, you got yourself some storage, and then more storage over here, and then this big hatch is a ginormous coffin box. Open that up, look how big that thing is. As I'm six foot two, 210 pounds, and I can fit in there. That is a huge coffin box. And then standard on all the new 2020 latitudes that you guys are gonna get, you guys have now have the pitch wells. Plexiglass lid, about three gallons in there. I'm gonna hook them up with lights. They're gonna be perfect, they're gonna be awesome running at night. You got one on each side. This is These are gonna be great, even for tarpon fishing. Tarpon fishing, I'm running two baits off the back and one off the side. If one of those rods goes off, I can come up here, reel it up, throw my mullet right in here, put the rod right there, and then he's good to go for when we get done fighting that fish and we're getting back to fishing. Up front, you have a big anchor hatch. Look how big that thing is. All right guys, so that's the 25 Latitude Tournament Boats, Competitor 25. I'm very excited, we got a long ways to go still. I still have to get the engine hung, I gotta take it to the rigger, he's gotta rig it all out. But I just wanted to go over with the boat with you guys so you guys could see the final product and how you would receive it from Latitude Tournament Boats from Duper. If you guys like the boat, which I know you will, he does a great job, these boats are built thick, they're built hard, they're built to fish. Is anybody that's going to test these out to the limit is going to be us. I can guarantee I have full faith that this boat is going to hold up throughout the years and maintain its value. There's, there's a huge market for these boats. They're brand new. This is the first haul off for 2020. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to splash this boat, but we probably got about another month between the rigger and breaking it in and getting it ready to go for fishing. Next video, I really want to go ahead and get you guys on the boat with it fully rigged out, do some tests and give you guys some numbers on how it's going to perform. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this is going to answer a lot of your questions about the LTBs that are out there. Working with Duper was hands on a great experience. He's a very friendly guy. He's got a great shop, great crew. The guy in there, Shane, that runs the shop, he is more than knowledgeable on these boats. He's been doing it for 20 plus years. First time going in there meeting the guy, I go, how long have you been doing this for? Is it 20 years? I can tell. This guy knows what he's doing, all right? Duper will take good care of you. There's a long waiting list for these boats, so hop on it now. I cannot wait to get this thing on the water and jump some tarpon this season. Tarpon season is so close to being here. We're gonna have tons of videos coming for you guys. I really just wanted to cover as much as possible as I can about what's going on in the life of Takizi. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna see you guys next week. Until then, take it easy.